tidal waves. Tidal waves can grow up to 100 metres in height. That's as high as seven brachiosaurs. Here's how to survive them. Tidal waves or tsunami are caused by landslides, volcanoes, or even big meteorites. But generally, they start with earthquakes. If you're by the coast and you survive an earthquake, don't relax. You may only have five minutes before the tidal wave hits. Get to high ground or travel at least two miles inland. But even this may not be enough. After the wave has passed, stay well away from the coast. The first wave isn't always the biggest. Remember this, and you might just live. Outdoors at zero degrees, a naked man will die in 20 minutes. Ah, oh, it's a bit cold. Rub it All right, well, listen, imagine this. You yeah. and me, yeah. we're having a romantic weekend away up in the Arctic. Yeah. Um, but we're lost. We've got no food. Yeah. We've got no shelter. Yeah. We're going to have to start a fire, right? Yeah, first, all of us, fire. So how, where are we going to find fire? I think everything's pretty much wet. It's covered in this stuff you call yeah, snow. But you must, you must only know how to find uh, very, very dry wood. Uh -huh. And it's, sometimes it's very, very difficult. And you must know how to find it. So are you going to show me? Yeah. And so, so first I saw to you how to move on the snow. It's, okay. So it's very difficult sometimes, but when you make like this. Right. Yeah. So follow me. Is it difficult? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I can hardly move. So don't walk. Crawl like an adult baby. <laughs> follow me. And oh, so I, I did. In our search for firewood, we had to crawl for several yards before Risto came across a dead tree. This will be very dry wood. What are we going to do about all the <laughs> snow? How are we going to set a fire? Uh, we must uh, first clean the area. I think Risto meant it was time to get digging, so I did. Do you smell? It's like petroleum. Yeah, it is. Uh, what yeah. is it? It's a very, very old tree, about 400 years old. It will burn, even though it's kind of wet on the outside. Yeah. Wow. Sniff it. If it smells of petroleum, burn it. All right. OK. So let's go to work. And get to work we did. In a couple of hours, the hole was finished, and this it was one. time yeah, for some careful. chopping. Can I have a go at that axe? This one? Yeah. No. Go I on. can give a little one to you, sir. <laughs> Be careful, it's quite sharp. Okay, big gift. Chopping wasn't much fun with such a small knife. And as my mind wandered, I couldn't help but think we weren't alone in these woods. So what's out here? What kind of animals might we find? Ah, uh, we have a lot of animals here. Snow grouses, foxes, a couple of hundred wolves. What? Yeah, two, about 200. Wolves? Yeah, and of course, brown bears. So be careful when you start to sleep. Will this keep the wolves and the bears away, the fire? We can only hope. So, should we make it now? No, because we need all, all fire in the night time. So, I think uh, we start to make the hole under the snow where okay. we sleep. How cold is it going to be in there tonight? Outside, about minus 10 degrees, or maybe minus 15. Uh huh. And inside? Uh, plus one, zero, near to zero. Would we sleep with our clothes on? Ah, uh, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I, uh, I keep this all. <laughs> yeah, I think I might keep mine on. It's yeah. going to be chilly. All right, so uh, I better give you a hand then. Ah, uh, yes. All right. I went off to fashion a duvet from trees. It was tough going, and by the time I got back, wow. Risto had already claimed his yeah. side of the bed. I think he wanted to show me how to light a fire using a stick and some dung, but after a short discussion, we decided it would be quicker if he just used my lighter. Oh, she's going up. We've got it. It's a pretty good looking fire, Risto. It's taken a little while, a little perseverance, but uh, there she is. Risto, let's go to bed, buddy. Yeah. It's time to go. So while we get comfy, let's recap. 
use a dead tree stump as fuel. For shelter, dig a cave in the surrounding snow. Light the fire, bed down, and enjoy a good night's kip. Good night, Risto. Good night, Nick. Have a nice sleep. Oh, well. Ah, Risto. I've just bought you seven more days of life. Join me next week. I meet nature's biggest bully. I run from tracker dogs. And I teach you how to survive a nuclear war. Remember, kids, please don't try this at home. I've been training for danger for most of my adult life.